Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Story. So this uh, video is made specifically for one of my uh, subscribers, um, Spencer. Spencer asked me how to get the Sea Breeze Dragon. Well, the Sea Breeze Dragon um, is a pretty difficult to get dragon because it has the rarity of super rare. And I'm going to do something in this video that I don't usually do in other videos. And give you that is give you an estimate of what I think the rare uh, rate of getting this dragon is. I am not comparing it to the dragons in this game. I'm comparing it to every combination games uh, out there. So the sea breeze dragon is an element of yellow and blue. So basically you can simply use the direct dragons that represent yellow and blue like the air dragon and the water dragon for a chance to get this dragon but one of the biggest problem is that this dragon is classified as super rare now some players have asked me how do i know the percent um i don't know the exact percent but i can give a ballpark range uh by looking at other games like dragon veil uh, mermaid world um monster their story my singing monsters and basically like that and what i believe is that super rare dragons are definitely more difficult than rare dragons and we all know that and ultra rare dragons is much more difficult than super rare dragon so if we take a look at that i believe ultra rare dragons which is like the diamond dragon has probably a one percent chance or a two percent chance now, if we look at the Sea Breeze Dragon, it's a super rare dragon, which means that there is probably maybe a 4 to 8% chance or 9% chance. So it's really slim. Now, the rare dragons, I know it's probably, I don't know, it's probably higher, much higher, because they want you to get the rare dragons or the common dragon. The common dragon is probably much higher than the rare dragon, too. So, um,. Getting this dragon would probably take you a while. It'll probably take you, I'd say, I don't know, it could be a month, depending on your luck. But the breeding time is nine hours. So what you're looking for is a nine hours uh, breeding process. If you get like 22 hours, I think that's a mind volt dragon. And then the other dragon is the mist dragon, which is about 14 hours and I, I usually round these things to 24 hours because if you only play for one day I mean you go to work for uh, 12 hours or you go to sleep for 12 hours you can't play every day I mean every hour so basically I round these things off to uh, 24 hours so I'm assuming it'll probably take you a month or slightly a bit over a month depending on how quickly you play but the rarity of this dragon is super rare so it's probably in the four to nine percent chance but anyways i have tested this on um other games one of my other devices because i failed to get it on the one that i was playing on um i used the water dragon and the air dragon i used it on the exact same using the exact same dragon the level doesn't really matter which side you select it doesn't really matter it's just that the rarity of dragon of the dragon makes it more difficult to get so that is about it. What you're looking for is nine hours for a breeding process, and then it'll take another nine hours for the egg to hatch. Now, if you're wondering what this little number thing on top of my egg, kind of uh, on top of the breeding process and thing mean, it's actually, I think it's a test by the developers. This is actually one of those gem traps, I assume, or gold traps, because if you just tap on the, the button at the bottom, it uses your gold almost immediately. Anyways, that is all. Um, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.